Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a partner, no it's not, it's going to be a project plan update. And you're going to think I'm lying, but I'm not. I've actually had such a great update month. And watch some of these new pajamas, I feel like I look like Hotel Duvet. But <laughs> we're just going to roll with it. So I'm going to go in order. So the first update is on my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This, I'm really liking this and I feel like it's kind of going down very quickly like damn this started off in the introduction or like the refresh last month at 32 grams and it is now 26 grams so I've used 6 grams of product but I also feel like the air has gone out of here so I don't know how much air weighs but um, that's a significant amount of progress and I can't wait to use this more because it's been great for the summer now it's what i'm wearing today this face is like how many project planner <laughs> how many products do i have in like project plans can i put on my face at once but i'm loving this for foundation i have the rimmel london max perfection foundation and i have like a little bit of progress oh can you see I like a little bit of progress. It's sticking to the sides of it where I've decided to mark progress, which is annoying and it's like slanty. So I'm trying my best. I feel like there hasn't been much progress of this because I've been mixing it a bit. I've been mixing it with the Rimmel skin tint, the kind of pre skin tint, to like match me better. I think it's okay matching me right now. I think so. <laughs> but I've been really liking this. It's such a handy foundation it's medium coverage like medium coverage and it just makes your skin look nice i think my my goal was to finish this but i'll just use it for three months see how i get on <laughs> to be quite honest because i have a lot of foundation in there girl i have a lot of foundation in there but i've been enjoying this one and i'm very happy that it's on the project for concealer the lacura take cover concealer this started out at 31 grams and it is now 30. I realise I don't like this. <laughs> I realise I don't like this concealer at all, but we're going to start off with, it started off at 31 grams. It is now 30. I started off using this as an under eye concealer. It is very matte. I, it's too dry for my liking. Um, I have been using my Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer under my eyes instead of this one for like the past two weeks. I just, I've not been not getting on with this one and I don't know, like I use it as eyeshadow base because it's just so dry and my eyes are so oily, it's working that way. So I'm going to try to continue with that, but if I'm still not loving it, by the end of August, I think I will just be saying goodbye and it's just so messy. Like there's... It's just so messy. It's not a vibe. Powder. My goal on this was to hit pan because I just wanted to see that I was making use on it and this started at 57 grams. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening finish and I hit pan. Oh my god, look, 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 Now, if you, there's a get ready with me that I posted a reel, a TikTok, and a short. No, I don't think I did shorts. And you saw my live reaction of me hitting pan on this header, and I'm so great. So, this is actually going to be rolled out. <laughs> um, I'm so happy. It's a great brightening header, but, um, it's great brighten and better, but it's just I wanted to see that I was using it, you know. I do use it to like brush off fake to brighten up my whole face, but now I won't be like feeling like I have to use it. I'll just use it when I want to brighten my face. You know? So to replace that I'm going to be rolling in my makeup gallery smoothly does it powder. Uh, I bought this recently and my Madre dropped it on the floor, so it's a bit cracked. So I'd like to get use out of this because it's a crumbly powder. I want to get it 
out of the way S S A P like as soon as possible. But yeah, this is also a favorite powder, so <laughs> it's not like I'm oh I have to use this. It's like mega boo <laughs> Shall I tell re airbrush bronzer? My goal in this is to hit pan because it is just such a big bronzer I wanna see that I'm using it. And yes, so this started last month at 137 grams. This month it is 136 grams, and you will not believe I didn't hit pan, but you I got to there for two seconds. Um I've been using it. Uh, I finally found the brush that I like using with it. So this I originally was using this kind of brush as a blush brush, but since this is this is medium, so I should I feel like I should have gotten fair, but it looks it's looking okay to me now. This brush just took on the littlest amount that I would need. And it's really nice. And I'm not surprised. like <clears throat> a gram of product is a lot in a month. There's a more noticeable dip. I don't know if you can look what they limp wrist. <laughs> There's a more noticeable dip, but I wouldn't say I'd hit pan until like the end of this. What is it? Three month cycle. So maybe even not then, like it's a big powder, it's 16 grams, so it's twice the amount. But I've heard some people say like it's thin enough, but also you could call also could call bullshit, but we won't. We'll just use it as we see. So been loving using that. Next is my Too Faced Pink Blush. So this is the Too Faced Love Flush Watercolour Blush in No Ordinary Lil. And watercolour is a great description for this because you need a lot of this for it to show up. I don't know if I said that in the last update, but I've used and abused this so much in the last month I've actually hit pan. This is the first time I've hit pan on a blush. Can you believe that? It's, oh, it's one of the bunnies. I just hit pan because I I concentrate my brush and I'm like scrubbing. I'm wearing a lot of the blush today. You cannot see it. <laughs> so if you're, I, I can't even recommend this because they don't make it anymore, but if you were able to buy this and you're afraid of blush, girl, this one's for you because it's like, go girl, give me nothing. But it's pretty packaging, you know? So <laughs> I'm rolling that one out and my voice is changing now, oh god. <clears throat> I'm rolling that one out and I'm bringing in I'm bringing in this orange blush. It is, it is stunning. Oh, I love it. Now, this is starting off at 138 grams. Oh, I didn't say what the blush is starting at, or the powder, but whatever. This is starting at 138 grams, but I think that's mostly packed in a way, like, to be quite honest. But I cannot wait to, I want to hit pan on this one. <laughs> I just, like, the devious smile on my face, I'm just like, yes, orange blush. <laughs> I, I love orange blush. I got my crazy eyes. This is, this is like a dream come true for me, to be quite honest. I love, I love wearing orange blush. And this is just going to be my time for it to shine. This is going to be like my summer, summer dream. I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy. So the next thing is my highlight palette, which is the Soap X Revolution highlighter. And this started off at 80 grams and is now currently 80 grams. So there's been no change in the weight of this product, which I'm not surprised. I literally use this Jessa brush. It picks up nothing. It gives you everything. It gives you everything. I love this highlight brush. It is my favourite because it gives the natural highlight. It's not like a blinding highlight, so that's why I think I'm not using a lot of highlight. Because this is not for blinding you, this brush. It's for like a natural burst. But yeah, I've been loving this. I'm getting back into highlight. I'm being like a little bit glowy, you know, just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit glowy. The next thing is the She Glam Pink Lip Oil. 
or should I give it the, the rainbow cake with oil? This started at 25 grams and it's now 24. I forgot that this was in my project. But it is really nice. I'm gonna put some on now. I, I'm starting to not like these She Glam lip oils because the packaging leaks. Do something to make it sticky. Sorry, I was just up there like having a cold attack. I do something to make it sticky, but um, so I feel like I can't really bring these anywhere. I had it in my bag there, and I was like stuck to the like the spare pad you keep in your bag. I'm like just over halfway done. I feel like if I put my mind to it, I could get this like I if I put it like in front of my computer by my keyboard where I edit, I'd be reapplying it all the time because I'd be drinking. Yeah. So that is the progress on that one. We're doing pretty good. I would put my hair down, but it's freshly washed, and I'm like, I have it like kinked into a coil to make my hair curl. Thank you so much for coming all along and watching this update. If you made it to this part of the video, tell me what is your most anticipated next makeup breakfast? Because I have things in my mind that I would love to get, but I'm on this like no buy. I'm putting myself on when I'm really trying to be as strict as I can. And I've added stuff to my wish list and I'm just like, I can take off. I will get you. <laughs> I'm, I think the reason I'm, this is full sugar. This is full sugar. So um, that's why I'm being a little hyped. But yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.